Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We've got some strong to severe storms moving in this afternoon and this evening. Already have a severe thunderstorm watch out for most of the area, especially west of I-77 until 4 p.m. It'll probably be the first of many severe thunderstorm watches, possible tornado watches as we go into the afternoon and evening. You can see the big storms and these have been exhibiting, you know, basically what we refer to as supercell structures. These individual clusters here, each one of these has had some large hail, damaging winds. And as you can see right now over in eastern Tennessee, we've got one tornado warning uh, near Morristown. So these are going to be moving to the southeast and heading into the mountains probably about early afternoon. Now this watch is up until four o'clock. So what's going to happen ahead of it, you could see temperatures already in the upper 70s. Things are going to get really hot and humid. In fact, dew points are near 70 already. Um, so that watch is the outlined area in orange so these are going to be moving in but this won't be the only wave of storms there's another cluster developing back in Missouri that's going to be our overnight into early Thursday morning hours so this is not going to be a one and done kind of thing once this first wave moves through this evening I'm thinking most of us probably 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. this stuff's going to come in overnight all of this coming in on what we call a Northwest flow so it's coming over the mountains and down into the Charlotte area and the Piedmont as we go into the evening. So let's talk about some of the risks here real quickly. Um, let's just highlight the watch. There it is. That's the watch that is up until 4 p.m. tonight. Again, more counties will be added to this at some point. If we highlight all the risks together here, you can see we've got the outlook there. The damaging wind risk is about 15%. Tornado risk about 2%, though that could go up or down. The hail probability, this hail is a little bit more elevated. 15% is pretty significant. And looking at the setup in the atmosphere, I'm not going to be shocked, especially with Northwest flow, that we get some large hail. And we're talking golf ball size, one and a half, two inch diameter hail, not out of the realm of possibility. So if you have cars outside, you have a garage, you have what, some way to protect them, absolutely put them in the garage today and tonight because this is an elevated hail risk. So let's break down the timing real quickly here. i move my head over here so it's a little easier for you guys to see this. Um, but you can see the tornado risk, um, we'll put it in the medium low range from about 3 p.m. till 9 p.m. Hail risk, again, elevated there after 3 p.m. High winds, heavy rain, and then there'll be a lull. So we'll get into this green area after 9 p.m. And you can see early tomorrow morning, I'm thinking 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning is when we'll see that second wave of storms coming in from the north and west. So real quickly, we'll kind of look at the, the future cast here. I'll pop it up. And this is just the short-term future cast here. So we'll go into the afternoon. You know, about lunchtime is probably when we'll see some of the first storms rolling into the mountains. They'll move out of the mountains pretty quickly and probably, depending on how things unfold, either be one big area of thunderstorms and we might see them stay individuals. And if they're individual cells, that's not a good thing. That means the potential for tornadoes would be higher. Um, but with this setup here, it's definitely going to be wind and hail. You can see by 4 p.m. basically arriving in Charlotte. So remember, the watch is up until 4 o'clock. So this is where I think we'll probably see a new watch issued for areas around Charlotte and points east because this is going to stay severe. It's moving into a very unstable air mass, hot and humid. Moves across the Charlotte metro right during the evening commute, 4, 5, 6, 7 o'clock. Um, there's our lull developing, maybe one isolated storm there. After that, you can see maybe the next wave developing back to the northwest, um, kind of breaking up a little bit. But the main batch, and again, this is after midnight, you see that cluster, 1 o'clock in the morning. Look what's going on to the west over in Tennessee. That's the next wave, and that's what's going to come in early on Thursday morning. Here's 2 a.m. We go to 3 a.m. So you can see that morning wave. So there's going to be two distinct waves coming in, and Thursday morning set up. You know, I'll loop this whole thing real quickly. We'll show it to you all at once. You could see it pushing in with wave number one, some scattered showers in between, and then wave two arriving wee hours of Thursday morning. So it's definitely a day we want you to stay weather aware. Let's go back to the timing graphic here because I think this tells you the most um, that you need to know as far as impacts and timing. We have one wave coming in this afternoon and this evening, another wave coming in overnight. So stay weather aware. We'll have you covered throughout the day on WCNC, WCNC.com, social media. Make sure you're charging up your phones. Got have three ways to get warnings. Apps, wireless emergency alerts, social media, watching me, social media is great, um, streaming, weather radios, um, friends and family, texting and calling them, all of those work. But make sure you have three because as you probably have seen in the past, one form is going to fail. You may not get an alert from an app, especially third-party apps. Make sure you have multiple ways to get warnings because especially the overnight hours when you're asleep, that's going to be when you're most vulnerable. But be, re be ready, be weather aware, and we'll have you covered today on WCNC.